What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back in the video on. What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back in the video on the channel. And today we took it to Domino's, the nice little deal. If you don't know, Domino's has that $6.99 deal that you can get anything that's on their list of stuff. And I was looking for different things that I wanted to order. At first I was gonna go to Little Caesars, but they boosted their fees up, like the prices. I thought it was like $6 for a pizza, but it was like nine. I was like, nah, we ain't doing that. So I was talking to some people and they brought up Domino's and I was like, I don't really like mess with Domino's that much. But they said I'm getting the wrong pizza. So I took their advice and we changed up what I normally get at Domino's and I did the rest of the $6.99 deal. So we got two other things as well as, I'm gonna try this one more time because people gave me heat for this, but they said that ranch on pizza is like the play. And I said that ranch on pizza is overrated. So I did make sure I get a ranch. So we're gonna do the ranch. I also have, I was in the mood for s'mores. So I'm gonna make a s'more on camera. I don't know how I'm gonna fail that off, but we're gonna do it. If you are digging the content, you'll see more of this stuff, man. You guys have been so good with the thumbs up and the engagement as far as me chopping up with you guys in the comments. I try to read as much as I can. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you. So keep it up, man. We're just gonna keep rolling. Like, subscribe, thumbs up, all that cringy YouTube stuff. We put out a video every day for the last two and a half months and I don't feel like stopping anytime soon. So that is what we're gonna do. Anyway, let me get into this pizza. I've been talking too much. You know how I am. I talk way too much, but you know how I do. So normally I just get like a normal pizza or one topping, but they said you gotta get extra. And I'm an extra type of person, so that's what we did this time. This is the first time I'm looking at this. This pizza like it was playing kickball with when he dropped it off, but you know, I don't expect too much. Is it stuck? Ah oh, man, I think it's stuck. Okay, it's all good. But we got a medium one topping pizza. So that's the $6.99. If I can get this open, it'll be even better. There's Toretto. No, that's not Toretto. The horn ain't loud enough. So we got a medium one topping pizza, but I got extra sauce and extra cheese. And I got the pan instead of their hand toss. And there's so much cheese and toss, but there's no crust on this thing. Okay, is there crust on this side? There's like no crust on here, which is kind of a W because I'm not really a crust person. So. Let's rock with that. I don't care. Let's do it. If I can rip this off, it'd be even better. Yo, Little Caesars, bro. What did you do, by the way? It costs less to get these three items than two items at Little Caesars were what I was going to get. We ain't doing that. Nah, we from the trenches, bro. We don't, we don't do that. I'm poverty. I don't like how I do that. And we also got two of their sides, the 699s. What's in this side? I know I got some wings. See, y'all already off to a bad start. Garlic Parmesan wings. Look at what this is. Is this the legacy? What is this, bro? Y'all see that? Bro, this looks like like an L. <laughs> These wings look like L wings. I'm not going to lie. It just looks like regular wings, but they just <laughs> the seasoning out. Yeah, the same wing stuff. I'm not expecting much. I'm not going to sit here and complain, bro. We move. It is what it is. We'll still try them. $6.99 for six wings. That's like a dollar a wing. Is that good? Is that a good price? I'm not sure. But we'll figure it out either way. I'm not going to get mad about that. Those do look like an absolute L if you ask me, but hey, I'm no expert. I'm just hurt. That's a Kanye line. And I had to get, if you don't know about this, Domino's actually has the GOAT dessert as far as like any chain. That includes any fast food chain, anything. If you've never had these, these are the W of all Ws, but y'all got to see this. I've had these once on camera when I was first starting out, but they're lava cakes. I'm telling you, if you've never had these, these are like elite levels. So we're going to have those as well here. Scooch. Scooch over. Get in the camera. Everybody's in the camera. Everybody here to play. I can't wait to get into this pizza. I also got the poverty and honey graham crackers for my s'mores. Y'all see that. And we do have some of these. Y'all see about those. I don't know if you've seen those already, but I didn't even know those existed until today. And I'm like, yo, that's actually pretty dope. You'll see the idea towards the end, but let's get into this pizza. They cut this like, I oh, see, yo, bro, bro. This is not the move. I don't care, we're gonna do this. I guess we got, did I get well done? I hope I did. Let's see. All right, so we're retrying Domino's because it's my least favorite of the chains. Little flop, thicky slice. Crust looks nice and crispy, which is good. Extra cheese and extra sauce on a pepperoni one topping pizza. Let's go. It's kind of saucy. I love saucy pizza. I 
my man up. My man up. Oh, I like that crispy in the back. This, the booty, on right here. Oh my. Oh my. That's the best part. That crispy. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of a Detroit style. The hell? I'll say this. Compared to the regular hand toss that I get, this is much, much better. If you use any app, you can always ask for extra sauce on any chain pizza, Papa John's, Domino's, Little Caesars, any of it. And if I said you, you gotta get extra sauce or it don't work. I ain't gonna much lie to you. This is probably the best pizza I've had from Domino's. Again, I live in North Jersey. There's a lot of pizza places that are gonna be more of a W than this. Like, there's no denying that. So I'm going off a chain pizza scale. This is actually like, like a W. The best part though, is this. That cheesy boot in the booty. <laughs> I always say if that look, man, okay? It's like crispy. Like a Detroit style, I really, really, really rock with that. Man, but anyway, let's get into these wings. Garlic Parmesan, you can see how they came. Like, they just put regular garlic Parmesan seasoning all over it, which is kind of an L. <laughs> but um, we're going to try them anyway. Uh, these, it actually looks like ranch. I'm, these, this might not last long. We're going to try them anyway because this is for the content. Let's do what we do. It ain't wing stop. The garlic parm just carries. Garlic parm, it tastes just like the ones that they have in the bottles at like Walmart. The Walmart stuff. But I'm gonna keep it a full stack. These wings, even though I ate it, because that garlic parm sauce for me is just like, like, um, exactly. Not something I would ever get again. But they are edible. The wing itself, bro, is soggy. Um, you know, and you can't really say oh, it was because it got delivered. I get wing stop delivered. I know Domino's isn't a wing place, but if you charge me seven dollars for six wings, I'm like you're gonna have to do something with them. I'm just, you know, they, I'm not cheap, but I'm cheap. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about those. Other than if you are a person who likes these wings and, and say that these like are actually fire. I love you, but you need to go get you some real wings. I'm going to get away from that. <clears throat> and I want to get into, let me wipe my hands off. I want to get into this lava cake because I do have a topic that I want to get on. If you guys don't know, I do have a membership program um, that's in the link or the description up top. So if you are in that, you get a little bit of inside stuff. I usually will post things on there uh, having to do with uh, different kinds of scenarios or if something happens, like the people knew they messed up my Wingstop order the day before. They knew I ate a pickle the day before and we talked about it, we laughed about it. So that's what we kind of do in there. But also if you are in the membership group and you ask me to touch on a question, I see your comments in the YouTube because it goes to the top for my own viewing as well as in there. So if you do have a question, we're gonna to touch on that. So we do have a question that I want to get to because one of my members did ask. So I'm gonna tackle it in this video and I wanna talk about this because it actually did uh, regrace my own screen beforehand. But I wanna try these lava cakes first and then we'll get into it because I'm just gonna have a little bit of food we're gonna chop it up. Listen, man, if you have never had the lava cakes from Domino's, I'm telling you it is the elite dessert of any place that includes any fast food chain. Just like I said before, they are just a massive W. These lava cakes are obviously, they're more than likely frozen. I don't care. If you work at Domino's, you can come talk to me about it, but I know they're frozen. It don't matter. Sometimes frozen stuff, it just works. Cause I'm, listen, let me show you. So we got the spongy cake right here, right? But in the middle, got that lava lava. So watch this, Mr. Lava Lava, did I really? Bro, you, what are you, come on, man. Look, Esta, look, Esta, look. Look, not on my nails. Stop it, man. We were nails. Shut up. Listen, look at this. If you don't tell me you don't want that with a little bit of hint of powdered sugar on the top on it, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. This is the elite. If you never had this, you're under a rock. This is like, I will go to Domino's just for these. Let me get this bite. I'm telling you, bro. All this gooey chocolate fudge in the middle. 
The outside is still crispy. Oh my, it's so good. I know somebody gonna come to the corners, bro. I don't, it's, listen. I feel you. I work at Domino's, they're frozen. Cool. I eat at Domino's. They're delicious. Look at this. Oh my God, it's so good. So much fudge on the inside. And like I said, they do the cake perfectly because it's still got like almost a crunch to it. It's a cross between a brownie, a cookie, a cake, and fudge and everything. And if you got some ice cream, vanilla ice cream with this, you got yourself like a W of all W's. If you never had it, I'm telling you, you gotta, gotta check these out. That is not an ad. That's just me being fat. I've eaten a lot of these in my life. Everybody I know has been in Domino's love these. You can do with that whatever you want to. Let me get a little drink. And I want to get into this. I'm going to put the question up on the screen, the comment on the screen. Wanted me to touch on this. And I don't mind touching on this as well. But if you are in the memberships, I always have to stop. And then it's the first chance I get, I'm going to get into your question. So let's talk about it. My man Donnell Jenkins, bro. We talk all the time now. Cool dude. It is. He's a Cowboys fan. We're finna fight about it because I'm a Giants fan. But it is what it is. This is what he says. He says, in your next video, can you touch on the topic that went viral the other day about the man bringing his son food? So let me give you a little context when it comes to this, okay? So there's a video that's been on a lot of those blogs, like the Shade Room and things of that nature, where a man came to visit his own kid with his, no, the baby's mom. They're not together. There are three other kids there. So when he gets there, he has McDonald's for his kid and no one else. So you've seen the video, the woman flips out and throws the food on the ground. Like, you ain't gonna bring food for your kid and then watch my other baby starve. We don't do that here. And it went viral because it's very contested. Now, I don't have any children myself, so it's hard for me to speak about being a parent, okay? So let me preface that in the beginning. If you are a parent, you know more about parenting than me. I don't have any kids. I've raised two dogs, that's it. Can't compare dogs to children. Even though they act like children sometimes, it's not the same. With that being said, I grew up in a household where my parents are together and are still together. So, I didn't have any step-parents or anything like that. So, I can't speak about situations that I've never lived in. I can only tell you what my perspective is on the outside looking in. With that being said, there are two ways to look at this. Number one, the person, the father who brought food for his son, he said, well, where are their dads at? Where are their fathers at? That's not my responsibility. He's not wrong. Now, hear me out. It's not his responsibility. Now, if he was with her, it is his responsibility. But he's not. His son is his responsibility. He doesn't have to bring food for other people's kids. His job as a father, I would think, is to make sure that his son is taken care of. Now, again, before you start typing furiously, I want you to listen to everything that I'm saying. This pizza is good. With that being said, I don't know if it's because of the type of person that I am. Or what. I didn't try to ranch because ranch sucks. But... We're going to try it. Everybody do the ranch. Given the type of person that I am, being honest, if it were me, just me, I'm not speaking on anybody else's behalf on right from wrong. If I was going to bring my son food, I would have probably given her a heads up and tried to resolve it before him because I can understand why she's mad, but it doesn't make sense why she would throw the food on the floor. I get the rage of being upset, but you can't expect a person you had one kid with to take care of the other three. I would have probably given her a heads up and said, listen, I'm coming over, and is my son hungry? But I also would have asked if the other kids are hungry. I don't care if those kids are not mine. That is the equivalent of me going over to someone's house, in my opinion, and my son is there, if I had a son, and there was other kids there, and I came over and said, hey kid, here's some damn McDonald's, here's some McDonald's, and the other kids was just sitting there. Like, yeah, it ain't my responsibility, but for me, it's just more of like a common courtesy thing, you know? 
that, that I would have asked, like, did they eat? Did everybody eat? Are they good? I don't know what their relationships right like, but if you were the mother of my kid, even if we don't get along, again, I'm only speaking from my perspective. Even if I don't really like you anymore, I would have still asked, are you good? Did you eat? I'll give him some McDonald's and, and then I would have went from there. If she would have said no, yeah, I would have probably brought McDonald's for everybody. I'm just that way though. I don't know how that baby mama drama works. I hear it all the time. I got friends with kids that they aren't together and stuff. And I understand that that kind of stuff is, is, is a touchy subject. So, you know, I know a lot of people who have their children's, you know, significant other parents. And try this ranch, bro. Bro, y'all like that? That's so me, bro. Nah, man. You don't need that. Must have ruled two bites. I'm being completely honest, though. I would never say something about it. It's not like I've never had ranch on pizza before, but they said you would try to get on. The pizza tastes like ranch. Why would you want not? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not for me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. For y'all, I'm not judging you. I do some weird stuff too. But not for me. But I know how that kind of drama goes. There's a lot of fighting and there's a reason you're probably not together. But... I'm the type of person where I try not to be petty in situations like that. I try to keep things as civil as possible. You had to know going into that, that there was finna be an argument of some sort if you came over if we were just for your kid. You had to at least see it coming. Now, I've seen a lot of drama and different things where I've seen parents use their kids almost as collateral props, you know? Well, I don't like the mom. I don't like the dad, so I'm not going to let them see their kid. And that kind of stuff, I've never been in this situation, but I can only speak on what I would do. And I'm always honest about that kind of stuff. Even if I didn't like the mother of, of my child, children, I would still try to keep it. And I know it's harder, easier said than done. I'm not judging anybody because I've never been in that situation. I can't reiterate that enough. But I would at least try to be as civil as possible with them. And I would never withhold unless it was a danger. Now that's different. If it was a danger, if they were putting my kids in danger, now we got a different story. But because I don't like them is not a good enough reason, in my opinion, to keep someone from seeing their kid. No matter what. I think about the women that I've dated in my past. Some of them probably wouldn't have been the best mother. Some of them would. But even with that, I would have tried to at least be civil on that end. And I know that's got to be hard, so I'm not judging you. But in that situation, it is not his responsibility. He's not wrong, but I also think it's a little, like, weird that you would do something like that. Now, you might not have the money, but in that case, I probably would have asked, like, can I see my kid so at least we can go get some McDonald's? But I wouldn't bring the McDonald's over there and just have him eating a, you know, a Happy Meal in front of everybody. You know what I'm saying? But she said, you need to take care of all these kids, allegedly. And my answer to that, no, he doesn't. That's not his responsibility. If they were together, that comes with the territory. Like, if I dated a woman who had multiple children, and we got serious, yes, I gotta step up. That's the end of the day. But, it's gotta be a bad situation. And it's even worse to have that played out on social media. And all I keep thinking about in situations like that, where I see stuff like that, when it gets viral like that, the internet is forever. Some of y'all might be too young to realize that. But if you do stupid stuff on the internet, you can't outrun that. The internet is forever. Once it gets out there to the blog sites, you cannot undo it. It's like the Thanos snap, but they did undo that. But they couldn't undo Iron Man. It's like Iron Man. You can only fix so much. You can fix yourself, but there's still going to be stuff left there. One day, them kids are going to be old enough to see that. And I wouldn't want my kids to see me acting crazy with my mom, you know, on the internet or vice versa. Because it's just not a good feeling. When you're a kid, you don't realize these kind of things. You know? I'm not saying I grew up in a perfect household. I definitely grew up without a lot of money. But my parents were at least good at the fact that I'm sure they had a lot of fights. But I didn't get to see a lot of crazy stuff happen. You know? And I thank them for that because I know a lot of people weren't so fortunate. 
So, if you do have kids, I'm never going to tell you how to raise your kids. That ain't right. But the only thing I will say is this. Understand that your kids see everything that you do. We've all been children before. And I'm sure I'm guilty of this too. There's a lot of things that I saw as a kid that I didn't tell, you know, but I saw it. Kids see everything. So just be careful because you don't know what's going to mess that kid up. And that should be one of the most important things in your life. So you don't really want to see somebody fighting about stuff like that, you know? And I don't think that's on one or the other. I think that's on both of them. You know, when, when you have a kid, even if you're not together, it's very important to learn how to co-parent. And I don't know why I'm going to eat this mid-ass wing, but I got to eat at least two, right? Tastes like garlic parmesan mayonnaise. Don't get that. Ever. I'm still going to eat it though. I'm going to waste food. So, I'll eat those too and figure out something, somebody. No, I'm not eating that shit, no. I'm talking kind of napkin. Get this shit off my finger. But, that's my take on it, man. Like, listen. I hope nobody is offended by the things I say because one thing, I, I try not to judge anybody. I can only tell you what I would do in a situation. You know what I'm saying? So, that's where I was coming from. I'm sure everybody watching this are great parents because the people that, that are usually commenting on my page, I don't know who has kids or what, but y'all all seem like good people. And I'm not here to judge y'all. I know some people like to judge me and that comes with the territory. And that's a whole nother story. But one thing that I pride myself on, I don't judge human beings off of their appearance. I don't judge human beings off of what I hear. I judge human beings based off of their character and their character alone. And I have to at least know them. But I don't judge people that I don't personally have interaction with. And I have to be around you long enough to judge you. I can't judge somebody based off a snippet. You know? I know we live in an era where people do that. Because this is a social media era. There'll be something else that comes along. But right now, people judge people based off of 7 second videos. Off of looking at 7 seconds of a 30 minute video. Or whatever. And I get that. But, personally, I don't do that. The only thing I care about is a person, a good person. If you're a good person, you can rock with me. Period. I know the whole nail topic has kind of died down since I made an explanation video. There's still some stuff. But if you want to judge me because I did that, it don't mean other nothing but other than the fact that it's painting. If you want to think other stuff of it, that's cool. But I don't do that. That's not me. I'm a person who... I try to stay positive as much as I can. And I'm a person who is, tries to be as welcoming as I can. The only type of people that are not welcome are hateful people who judge people based off of things like that. People who discriminate based off of things like that. Non-character issues. You know what I'm saying? Appearance. Preference. I don't care if it's height. Whatever it is. Those are the only type of people that I don't really rock with. Other than that, I don't care. We could chop it up. You could have a whole conversation with me about Raggedy Ann dolls as a 47-year-old male. And I would be like, say less, tell me about the dolls, bro. It don't mean nothing to me. Because you don't know people's stories, man. You know what I mean? So, that's my take on it. But it is what it is. I'm going to get one more lava cake in. I want to make a s'more. I've been craving s'mores for mad long. I went to the store to get s'more stuff, bro. This runs deep. But before I do that, you gotta get the goat. I'm telling you, this is the one. It's so good, man. I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. Only bad part is I had a cereal yesterday and I used the rest of my milk. <laughs> I realized that when I got home. That's like that 90s. I don't know if y'all know. 90s, early 2000s. They used to have these Got Milk ads, right? You saw all celebrities had the milk mustache. I got the regular mustache. Dope. They used to have these commercials where people were in these scenarios where they needed milk, but they didn't have it. I remember there was one in particular where this dude was doing his sweepstakes. He was calling in. Back then, radio stations were a thing. It's not really now. They still exist, but it's not popular. They used to have, like, sweepstakes and stuff where you call and you can win tickets to, like, Aruba. So he called them. 
and had to answer a question. And the question, it was who shot Alexander Hamilton? <laughs> this is a true thing. Man, I'll never forget the answer to this. I still know it till this day. And who shot Alexander Hamilton in a famous duel um, in the 1800s? The answer is Aaron Burr, by the way. Aaron Burr. <laughs> yeah, they had a duel um, back in the old days. Wah, pow, wah, pow, right? And the answer was Aaron Burr. So the dude had to answer. He knew it. He even had a whole room filled with like memorabilia. He had like a musket from Aaron Burr, but he had like this. He had a pimp on his hand. So he was talking like this, and he couldn't understand him. So they were like, he was like, Aaron Burr. And they're like, sir, I need you to speak clearly. And he was like, Aaron Burr. You know, peanut butter sounds crazy. And they said, you have five seconds. And he was like, I need some milk. Where he was mumbling. And then it stopped and said, got milk. That's what I just felt like. I don't know how I got that story out. And if you're old enough, you probably remember that. But it used to be like educational. I still to this day remember that. Aaron Burr. So boom, listen, I, I was, I don't know why, but I was in like a crazy mood for s'mores. Like I love s'mores. And I saw a bunch of people uh, when I was on a walk like the other night that were like lighting, you know, they had a campfire, like, like a bonfire or whatever in a yard, like the fire pit. That's what it's called. I can't think. And he has s'mores, bro. And I was this compelled to be like, I can't just run up on random people. You know, it's like weird type of stuff, especially at night. You don't know what's going to happen. So I didn't do it. But I could see them like the marshmallows on a stick. I'm like, yo, I really want a s'more. So I went to get a s'more. And I didn't even know that these existed. I think I'm just old at this point. Is this how s'mores work? Because back then you had a marshmallow, you had a Hershey's chocolate, and you had the graham cracker. You ever watch Sandlot? They go through the whole thing. It's an art form. Did you know they made s'mores like this? Did y'all know that these existed or am I just old? They make s'mores now that have chocolate on the inside already? Like, am I that old? Am I crazy? I didn't know this was a thing. So I saw these. I pulled one out already. I can feel that it's like got like something on the inside, but I need to check this. I didn't know this was a thing. Hold on. This is a thing? This is a thing. You can do this. Well, that chocolate is actually kind of... Bro, we have, we've come so far as a world. We have come so far as a world. This is ridiculous. I'm just gonna eat this one. Wow. Where have I been? So boom, we're gonna make a score with it. That's dope though. That's a W idea. How long have those been out? Do y'all know? Where have I been? I already opened this because I'll be embarrassing myself trying to open stuff. So we'll clean up our table. If y'all don't know. This is the first rule. Now, I'm actually gonna run to my stove and light um, this marshmallow on fire uh, because I don't think you can light things on fire on YouTube. I don't wanna risk it. So that's what we're gonna do. But we got this, this is such a W. Where is that? Right? Wait, what does this say? Place stuff, there's, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Place stuff puffs on graham cracker or cookie in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Add another cookie on top. You can microwave it. We doing that. I was finna just do it on the oven. Cause you know, I'm, I'm ghetto bro. That's what we used to do. I used to roast marshmallows in the oven all the time. I'm finna do this. So we got the 10 seconds. That's three, two. I didn't know you could do this. Oh, that thing got fat. I did not know you could do Look how this came out. I like that too. Cause I don't like when the marshmallow be all burnt. Like I like when it's like this. I like when it's melted, but not burnt. I bet this chocolate is gooey too. Let's try this. Bro, no, there's like a whole, look at this. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. What took them so long to invent this? I don't care if there's stuff in my face. You can microwave s'mores. I gotta do one more. I got more. Oh my goodness. All right, one more. Bro, the technological, that's how I've the word up on purpose. The technological advances that we've come to have just made things for me so much easier. I don't have to buy a Hershey's bar. Shut up. I feel like a 10 year old. And I'm not even mad about that. <laughs> Bro, stop looking at me. Look at this. Look at the chocolate on the inside. Okay, I'm making the third one. I don't care. I feel like a five. I feel like I'm back in like a six-year-old being camping. This is dope. Why does this make me so happy? One more. One more. One more. I roasted one on the oven just to see. See this? Did, I don't like this burnt one, but I wanted to melt the chocolate on the inside. So that's how it went. Let's do this. 
Let's see. What do y'all? What do y'all prefer? Campfire is W though, but this just like I don't know. We gonna find out though. Let's see. This just don't even look the same. The best part, honestly, I don't know where I've been. The fact that there's chocolate in here, like it just takes me another step, and it's cheaper. I don't have to buy all these Hershey bars. You can just make a whole bunch of s'mores. How many in your box? 14. You can make 14 s'mores in like two seconds. And that chocolate is already there. W idea. I haven't had s'more in so long. This is hitting the spot. Other than the fact that I have marshmallow like in my soul at this point, you'd love to see it. Hmm. Okay. That hit the spot. You have no idea. Wow, well, W. Anyway, I'm gonna clean this table up. With that being said, it's gonna be the end of the video. Tomorrow, um, we actually are going to see Minions. I'm not gonna review Minions. It's a kids movie, it's gonna be funny. It is what it is. Um, but we have a highly requested place that I've never done on this channel tomorrow. We've had a lot of that this week, so, um, Again, thank you guys all so much for your support. You guys have been amazing, like beyond anything that I've ever even thought about as far as this channel goes and the support. So we will be back, man, tomorrow. More content. No Toretto again. Wild. I love y'all. My hand signs. They made it to YouTube.